Cancer treatments are difficult enough to go through, but add in the side effects that can sometimes hit during chemotherapy, and the journey to wellness gets even harder. And that's what happened for West River Acupuncture and Wellness's patient, Peggy. When painful neuropathy began in her hands and feet, Peggy worried that she might never be able to walk without a cane or drive her car again. Thankfully, she met the team of dedicated health and wellness professionals at West River Acupuncture and Wellness. Here's her story. We are West River Acupuncture and Wellness, and I am here with Peggy. She's one of our best patients, and we really just want to tell you her story today. And Peggy, I want to start by asking you really what your journey was for what brought you in for acupuncture treatment. Um, I, I'm going through cancer, and part of the cancer treatments are able to... Um, help treat the cancer, but there can be side effects, and one of them is called um, neuropathy, and I have that in my hands and feet. Pain is rough because initially it felt like I'd just constantly been slammed in the car door, both my feet and my hands, and I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't even cut my pancake for breakfast in the morning. Somebody had to do it for me. Dressing, bathing, everything. I couldn't drive. I couldn't walk without a cane. So I've tried everything else. I chose acupuncture. I had nothing to lose, and I've had so much gain. Right. It's been many months I've been in here. I'm driving. I can walk without a cane. I can hold a cup of coffee. I can write a thank you note to somebody, Katie. And I'm gardening, and my life is so much better. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you for asking. Oh, we're so happy to hear that. And just how many ways your life has improved. And I, I'm just curious what Dr. Wolf's um, feedback would be on the percentage of improvement, overall improvement and usage of your hands and feet would be. I know she's so successful on neuropathy. But I would not want to go back, Katie, to where I was when I started here um, early this year. I would not want to go back to that pain. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll settle for all the gains we've made and call it great. Mm -hmm. I mean that. What would you t say to someone who is hesitant about acupuncture? <sighs> I guess if you're going to settle for what you've got, to live with, if you're going to settle for having other people help live your lives, don't come. If you want your life back, come to West River, because Dr. Wolf has helped me tremendously. Thank you so much, Peggy, for being willing to share with us today. You're welcome. Dr. Wolf, I was just visiting with Peggy. Yeah. And I was really struck by how much improvement we've been able to make for her. Mm -hmm. um, she was talking about how much pain she was in before treatment um, and versus now, like she can garden even. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about her case? She was to the point when she came to us that she just thought that she, this was how her life was gonna be. Yeah. Really, she didn't think that she would be able to brush her teeth on her own, even feed herself some days. And her feet, she could barely walk. She was walking with a cane. And how debilitating. Yeah. And just to see her transformation over these past few months has been, it's been really moving. Um, if you talk to other people that come to see us or that work here, they'll even say like, Peggy, she has us in tears almost every week. Mm -hmm. Just telling her story. She shares her story with everyone else that comes here. And seeing her without a cane, she's gardening now. And just all of those little joyful things that people take for granted, even the things that aren't joyful, like washing your hair, brushing your right. teeth, that you don't realize how much it means to you until you've lost it. And her quality of life. And she wasn't able to drive, I don't think so either. No. So now she's able to get herself to her appointments. So Yeah. And I mean, she has a skip in her step. Um, and not doesn't even have to use a cane anymore. And yeah. she started out with a cane, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just amazing. Do you know, um, I was curious about her improvement rate um, from the start, like how much loss of function and movement to what she's at now. Do you know that? It depends on where people are at. 
usually our goal is at least a 50% improvement. In her case, we did much better. She got closer to 75, 80% improvement. To her, I'm sure that she feels that full, like 80 some percent. I'm just so grateful we could get her there. Me too. Mm -hmm. So I know that she, what we were treating her for was the peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. In her case, it was chemotherapy induced peripheral neuropathy. Yeah. So before working here, I didn't know very much about that. Um, and even now I know there's a lot more to know. So can you just tell me a little bit more about neuropathy? Yeah, so peripheral neuropathy, that's where the nerves and the hands and the feet begin to break down. And there's that can happen for a lot of different reasons. Okay. Um, cool. Some, it's just as we get, age, get older, as we age, that happens. A lot of times we just don't know the reason why. Hmm. Sometimes it's hereditary. Sometimes it's complications with diabetes. Oh, right. Sometimes it's coming from the low back. Um, sometimes it's coming from the knees. It could be like any of these joints down here. Really? And like I said, in Peggy's case, it's from her chemotherapy. Yeah, so not only do you not feel good from chemotherapy, but now you have pain in your hands and feet. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's important to get your cancer treated right. Yeah. Correct? So, but those drugs, they wreak havoc on the nerves. And so that's what we can help with. A lot of patients that we see, I feel like are the neuropathy kind of patients. Would you say that's like one of your specialties? Oh yeah. yeah. It's probably 70% of our practice here. Yeah. It's peripheral neuropathy. I love to treat it. It's really rewarding. And just seeing the difference of how people walk and are able to live their lives the way that they want to and get their life back means everything to me. One of my favorites was he um, came in with leaning really heavily on a walker. And then when he was done, he didn't need it at all. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I just, to me, that transformation is amazing. Mm -hmm. That was another patient. Yeah. Maybe we'll get them to come share their story. Too. I, I hope mm -hmm. so. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you for just helping me learn more about that. Absolutely. Yep. Those are who we like to see here. So if you have peripheral neuropathy, whatever the cause, we'd love to bring you in for a consultation with Dr. Wolf. Please give us a call at 605-981-5522. Call today to schedule a consultation with Dr. Wolf and her compassionate team at West River Acupuncture and Wellness in Rapid City. To make an appointment, you can call 605-981-5522. You can also request an appointment online at westriveracupuncture.com. This Kelly Living segment has been sponsored by West River Ac Acupuncture and Wellness, where their goal is to empower patients by helping them take their life back and begin living again.